Thank you for tuning in to Brandon Socket. Please do not hesitate to hit subscribe if you find these videos extremely helpful. Today's video or this video is on an inner working of an opportunity. So today's inner working, we're going to talk about vehicles of interest. So if you're used to the classic version, you'll remember that you could add a vehicle of interest and then when you added a second vehicle, it replaced this Toyota 4Runner and there used to be a history tab somewhere where you could see all the vehicles you've added but you couldn't click on it to replace it. So what we've done in Blackbird is essentially enabled the user, so let's just choose a, a 2017, so maybe we're on a pre-owned Suburban or Renegade and we're also on a brand new 4Runner. And so what DealerSocket's done is it allows you to add multiple vehicles to the same opportunity. So you've got this as your top choice and as the customer maybe you know switches to the Renegade back to the 4Runner, you can just hit top choice. Okay, so it enables you to see which vehicle they're you know most likely going to buy based on the conversations you're having. Uh, in second, uh, with a tool like Deskit, perhaps, or you know Deskit as an example, sorry, when I post this vehicle to the DMS, it's going to push the Forerunner. When I use this as my top choice, and I repost this uh, to the Deskit tool, it will send in this Renegade, so you can work two numbers on two different sets of vehicles. Uh, as far as a limit, I don't want to say the sky's the limit, but you can enter, you know, I think it's five, maybe it's unlimited. I don't actually remember the, the total number of vehicles. So we'll just, let's just do this as a quick test. I mean, I don't think you're going to have four or five different vehicles. Maybe you have three, maybe you have four tops, but one, two, three, four, and let's just try a fifth. Uh, let's just see if there's any 2009s in inventory. Yeah, let's check this Corolla. So again, really useful and you can, again, swap between the top choice based on what your client is saying on that vehicle. So vehicle of interest, a lot of great functionality. One of the last pieces I want to show you on this vehicle of interest are these three buttons here. So when you click those three buttons, you can choose not in stock and you can type in 2018, you know, uh, what's it, Pontiac, let's do that because it doesn't exist and I'm not brand partial, Pontiac Sunfire. And so you can enter certain information click save. Where that becomes valuable is pulling lists in the future where we say uh, unsold data that was looking at a 28 Pontiac Sunfire from you know 30 to 90 days ago so over a two-month period <clears throat> let's create activities for them let's market to those customers so without a vehicle of interest at least typed in we can't have the information. Last but not least I, I do find this a lot people zoom into their their dashboard and it's all um, responsive and so when I click on the vehicles of interest and I click this search inventory tab, it's going to give me a pop-up. So don't get frustrated. You would just search the inventory here. Okay. If you don't like that, then just make sure you zoom out. I think I'm at 75%. And then when I click in here, I can type in here. There's enough room for the screen to pull up all the information. So again, dealer socket is very responsive. Uh, and I think that is everything in regards to vehicles of interest. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe.